That's okay. a series. I really like that. A lot of the top players kind of bringing back a lot of grassroots tournaments. They're hosting, Pokemon showing trainer. off people for their platform. So we're going to get into this. What do you think about Pokemon Trainer versus Jigglypuff? I think if Jigglypuff gets hit, then, you know, I think he's, I think Jigglypuff's going to lose immediately. Immediately. I think there's just very... Both uh, Squirtle and Ivysaur are just going to destroy Jigglypuff once he tries to uh, approach him. Squirtle can really camp Jigglypuff out really hard. He doesn't have projectiles, but he just has those really fast options. Ivysaur, not the greatest camper, but again, he can just kind of occupy that space with that big nair, with that up air. Yeah, fantastic job changing over to Ivysaur just because... No, I'm Squirtle. with this. I'm with this. Squirtle, you can't really combo Jigglypuff too well, right? True. And that's the whole huge thing about Squirtle is, oh, I'm going to get you to 60% change to Ivysaur. I feel like the two Pokemon that are going to be played the most is Ivysaur and Charizard for obviously killing. Right. Wow, trying to go for that for Randy forward smash to get him off the ledge. Oh, missing tech there. We're going to have to play blitz. Not going to get a punish on that. Oh, please don't get hit. Oh, the fire spin. Oh. <laughs> I would that's say... Oh, Whoa, that kills! Excuse me? Gosh, that moves so bad. Oh, we're missing oh, the tech. No tech? It's, oh, it's cool. alright, it's alright. But. Still, he got it 40. That was so funny. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Squirtle not going to get those traditional combos that you get. I'd say if you get a hit with Squirtle on Jigglypuff, you're probably only going to get 30%. I don't know about just completely saying no to the Squirtle and just going straight to Ivysaur. I think Squirtle can still do a lot of good work in this matchup, especially where Ivysaur can struggle. Again, being off stage, if Jigglypuff does time that narrow that fair right, he couldn't hit that tether recovery. What I really want to see from Hungrybox is Jigglypuff's one of one of her best moves is narrow and side B, pound actually. So what oh. a lot of really good puffs do is they would pound into Nair and since she has such good air mobility, that's actually a safe move. And then get the other person, drop shield, try to attack you. That's where you go in and do everything. Oh, but, that's tough. Yeah. I respect it, though. Another head. Yep, headbangers yep. coming I'm in. I'm telling you. He's We're going here for the cool roll. stuff. That, yeah, that uh, that rest seemed a bit ambitious, but I do respect it. I'd love to see uh, Jigglypuff hit a, a dare loop on Charizard. That'd be the one character you actually could get it on. Well, HBox is practicing a lot of these matchups, especially online on his stream. He's been one of the players that have always been playing MSM online also. Uh-huh. But players kind of in the neutral. Forward smash to call him out. Such a good move. Yep, knew he was going to land directly on him. Charizard do like to land with that Nair a lot. Yeah. And now you have Ivysaur coming out over here, playing kind of like a sword character with a projectile. Now you have hitting that big Nair. We're going to rock find all the space. Honestly, HFox is actually in kill percent. <laughs> it's unfortunate. One really good time down throw up air or up B, and that could actually be a stock. Yeah, especially if you catch the uh, the DI wrong. We're not getting hit by that, right? Nope. <laughs> Q has to really be careful with throwing out these F smashes. Yeah, yeah one they, of these times HFox is going to rest him. Yeah, yeah, it's a really good move because it's kind of disjointed, but again, you have to be really careful. Oh, there we go. We're hitting that to the recovery. Oh, good that air was, dodge to get out of the way. That was tough. You know HFox wanted to be there, but he knew if he got hit, he was going to take like 30%. Up smash to get him out of there. It's 72%, both characters at kill percent. <laughs> We're going to see up smashes out of shield from Q. Yeah, I really don't like HBox kind of hovering above this space on Charizard. You know that up smash is going to come out. One wrong. Oh, excuse I'm me? I held my breath. I was like, does he know some cheese? I don't. Oh, oh that's that, bad. That, that, why would you? <laughs> oh, that's. Oh, that, that one, that was a, that enough, was a heartbreaker. That was enough smash. He, dude, I'm telling you, he's such a cool player now. He's just like, yeah, I'm going to go for this rest. Well, like, you kind of saw it right there because he hit the uh, the flare blitz at the very top of Jigglypuff's shield. So he didn't man immediately land. So he didn't know whether he's going to land first or he's just going to go in the air. And you kind of saw him, like, decide what punish to do, but he just decided a little too late. Yeah, exactly. Because he could have ran under and up smash. He could have side bead. He I definitely thought that up smash was coming out. Yeah, but again... It was really, really weird. Q's one of those types of players. He goes for the, it's not really a Randy side B. He does the high risk, high reward type of strategy. He likes to get a lot of people with up throw on Yoshi's platform into side B as Charizard. It's super cheesy, I've, but it does work sometimes. I've never heard of that in my life. I, I want to see that. But we're not going to be seeing that yet. We're going to be running it back to FD, but this time with the melee soundtrack. 
I do think the FD pick uh, was good. I don't really want any of these platforms leave these characters to uh, to their own devices. Squirtle and Ivysaur with... Okay, Ooh, man. Try and go for the drill rest again. Only but, a 15% punish, though. But you do see every single time that HBox does get something on his shield, Q's shield is just, you know, it's going to break. So that's how oh, HBox knows when to start swing again. Oh, there we go. He's going to have to switch. Not going to get a punish there. Yeah, going to have to reset to neutral. What I really want to see Hungrybox do, since you see these high side beat recoveries from Q so many times, what I want to see him do is go off stage, wave dash back onto stage really fast to catch the side B, and then, you know, that's a stop. That would be big brain. See that Charizard tried to get that, uh, that cheeky back air. That might have killed at 40. Ooh, trying to call him out with the down smash, but fantastic get up attack from Q. Oh, you know, up tilt kills, right? Up tilt is like snake up tilt in this game. It's weird. I did not know it killed. Then again, I don't know much about Jigglypuff. That's not a character I'm out here like, oh, I need to learn the intricacies of this character. <laughs> you, should get a, you should go ask Base Mage. He, he always streams and stuff. Oh, true. <laughs> but anyways, getting back into the 66% of 159. Fun fact, both of these characters oh, are at kill percent, but fantastic forward here. I love that stock that Hbox played. He was just really impressive. Always making sure to beat in Q's face to hit him right before you can hit him. Oh, passes it. Oh, they, that, that was, was a, a fantastic air dodge, that too. A, that was a great air dodge. I do like that Hbox is going off for these edge guards. That is kind of what you should do with this character when you get a chance. Great spot dodges here. Back airs just to say, get off my ledge. I need all this space. But that's what I mean. The side B into neutral air is actually so safe. It shield pokes. And it does you know, a good amount of damage. A lot of the times for Jigglypuff's neutral is she will side B. But you see the miss up B coming out. Oh, that was scary. That fair kill there. I did not think it would kill at that distance. I'm pretty sure HBox was DIing hard to the left just because he was trying to run up and hit Charizard, right? Yeah. But, you know. Uh, I, I, I think you're right there. So far, only 7%. I love the way that HBox is playing this next stock. He's always hitting his shield with those safe aerial spot dodging because he knows he's going to grab. I would say Q's playing this really good now. You see Q not really going in for these Randy F smashes or a lot of these pull the trigger type of options. He's playing a lot slower. He needs to play HBox's game because he knows that HBox wants these, wants these cool kills, right? So he has to play really slow, oh, tries to get it, but you know that. Yep. Yeah, good back guy. air. Such a strong move. I thought he was going to go for a rest, but he realized, oh, oh if, I, if I rest, I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah, just got that nice back air. All you really need to do, no need to go for anything uh, too fancy. You can say that's the last dock. Well, he tries to go for an air, but unfortunately doesn't connect. Oh, it's the, it's the bullet seed. Not really a move that kills, but it is good for damage. Oh, he tries to read the air dodge down, but... You're right, Pokemon's though. He was looking for that air dodge read. But Pokemon Trainer does have that really good option of instantly changing Pokemon. What, it's frame two, invincibility? Something like that. And you get a new character to play with, too. Such a fun character. Yeah, this is definitely scary. Hbox knows he can't really make any mistakes or he's going to die. 13%. He already knows every hit he takes, he's going to be close to death. 84%. Charizard's not going to die too much unless it's through a hard read. I'd like to see Hbox trying to just circle camp a little bit more. Just kind of hover around the space. See, I'm liking the way that Hbox is playing right here. Yeah, he's I'm hovering around the space and he's being ambiguous with how he's going to land. Are we going to see a backer connect? Yes. It's, good. it's so right. close. Heart pounding. Oh, that hits under the ledge cube with the fantastic upset over H box. Oh, that would hurt. Head oh, bangers. Dude, what music do you think Charizard are listening to? Oh, had to be that heavy rock. I love the way that H box was playing right there. He was just occupying that space, being really ambiguous with the way he was going to land, and then he got hit three times. <laughs>